Okay, here's a problem solving video for learning extension 5.5. .5. Says find V0 using Thevenin's theorem. Uh, we're going to be utilizing the problem solving strategy on page 185 and 186. And the strategy says when applying Thevenin's theorem, remove the load and find the voltage across the open circuit terminals. And first of all, let's consider what our load's going to be. Since V0 is a voltage across the 6 kilo ohm resistor, we're going to assume that this is our load. And when we use Thevenin's theorem, we're going to calculate the Thevenin equivalent. And remember, a Thevenin equivalent network has the following uh, arrangement. And what we'll be doing is we will connect the 6 kilo ohm load back up and we'll be finding the voltage V0. So in our circuit here, these are the terminals A and B. So our strategy will be remove the 6 kilo ohm load, uh, find the open circuit voltage, and then since our network contains uh, dependent sources, we're going to have to uh, rely on step two, part C, uh, where we're going to have to find the uh, short circuit current. So let's first start off calculating the open circuit voltage, and our circuit for that configuration is as shown in the diagram. And so we've removed the six kilo ohm load. Uh, now we're going to calculate the open circuit voltage. And if we look at this circuit, now we really have a single loop circuit. And remember, a single loop circuit, we only have one current. So I'm going to define a current. I'll call it I1 prime. And I1 prime is defined to flow clockwise around that single loop circuit. Now let's apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to solve for I1 prime. So we'll start here at the left corner, move around clockwise, so we'll have a drop of 4K I1 prime, another drop across this resistor, 4K I1 prime. Now we have a dependent source, and remember back uh, for the problem solving strategy in chapter 2, we're going to write the equation just assuming this is a fixed value, like a, an independent source, so we'll have minus Vx prime over 2. And that's going to be equal to 12. So there's the KVL equation for that circuit. Now, if we look at our circuit, we can see from Ohm's law that Vx prime is 4K times I1 prime. So now if we substitute in and do some arithmetic, we'll have 8K I1 prime minus 1 half 4K I1 prime is equal to 12. So we get 6K I1 prime is equal to 12, or that I1 prime is equal to 2 milliamps. Okay, so now we have I1, and if we look at the circuit now, we're going to be able to find VOC by applying KVL around this loop, and now we know this voltage is 4K I1 prime. Okay. So then, uh, the open circuit is 4K I1 prime minus one half VX prime. And if we make the substitution, we have 4K I1 prime minus one half times 4K I1 prime. And this is going to give us that V open circuit is 2K I1 prime. Therefore, VOC is 2K times 2 milli or 4 volts. So that's half of uh, our analysis. We still have to calculate the short circuit current. And we'll do that using the circuit shown here. Uh, notice that the 6 kilo ohm load is still removed. We've now uh, 
apply to short between terminals A and B. And notice now I've got double primes for all the variables. And that's because with a short circuit, those voltages are going to be different than they were with an open circuit. So now, uh, let's look and analyze this circuit to calculate our short circuit. And if we take some observations and say, well, let's apply Kirchhoff's voltage law around the outside loop. So around the outside loop, you'll notice that we get Vx double prime equals to 12 volts. Okay, and if, if again we define this current as I1 double prime, then I1 double prime is going to be 12 volts divided by 4 kilo ohms, which is 3 milliamps. Now, uh, Vx is 12, so Vx over 2 is going to be x double prime over 2 is going to be 6 volts. So now we can calculate uh, this current I'll call I2 double prime. So I2 double prime is now 6 divided by 4K equal to 1.5 milliamps. And that's because if we apply KVL around this loop, there's going to be 6 volts across uh, this 4K resistor. And the polarity is going to be as shown. So there, from there, using Ohm's law, we can calculate uh, the current I2 double prime. Now, if we apply Kirchhoff's current law at the node at the top, we'll get that I short circuit is equal to I1 double prime minus I2 double prime. So we have 3 milliamps minus 1.5 milliamps to give us 1.5 milliamps. So now there's the short circuit current. So now, going back to the problem solving strategy, we can calculate the Thevenin resistance by taking the ratio of V open circuit to I short circuit. So we have 4 divided by 1.5 milli, 4 volts divided by 1.5 milliamps tells us that R Thevenin is 8 thirds of a kilo ohm. Now, let's draw uh, the Thevenin equivalent circuit and our Thevenin equivalent will have an open circuit voltage of 4 volts our Thevenin resistance of 8 thirds of a kilo ohm now we will reconnect our 6 kilo ohm load and calculate the voltage V0 and using voltage division V0 is 4 times 6K over 6K plus 8 thirds of K. And that gives us that V0 is 36 divided by 13 volts.